Well, she is the top dog on the job, and tonight we're introducing you to the Minnesota Bureau of Criminal Apprehension's first ever canine, a black lab with an impressive nose. Fox 9's Hannah Flood shows us how this dog is using her natural ability to sniff out high tech crime. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. Seek. When Black Lab Soda clocks in for work, show me. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good dog. She's using what naturally comes to her to find what humans can't. Well, a lot of people would not be uh, criminally charged right now or be sentenced to, uh, to prison uh, if it wasn't for soda. Soda is the BCA's first ever canine, making special agent Lucas Monkowitz the agency's first ever canine handler. She puts the, like you said, the smoking gun in, in the suspect's hand where it's an undeniable um, piece of evidence. Soda's smoking gun is electronics. She's one of a handful of dogs across the country trained to detect the scent of TPPO, a chemical that's on cell phones, laptops, computers, any electronic device that stores information. It's a uh, industry standard, so there's nothing they can do if you want it. Uh, um, electronic devices that store memory, the scent that she smells is, is going to be on there. SOTA mainly works with the BCA's Human Trafficking and Internet Crimes Against Children Division, looking for the kinds of electronics criminals use to hurt and exploit kids. Well, a lot of times, you know, uh, criminals uh, or people that are interested in exploiting our children, often it's their deepest, darkest secret, and they want to hide that uh, to the best of their ability. As a demonstration, Special Agent Monkowitz takes SOTA on a search around BCA headquarters, Children. where she detects and points to a small electronic device hidden inside this storage compartment. The SD card she's found is smaller than the size of a fingernail, something that even the most thorough investigators would have a difficult time finding. We found uh, cell phones, our electronic storage devices under refrigerators and air vents, uh, deep in containers, storage areas, attics, basements. Soda has an impressive track record. In three years, she's done more than 100 searches and found more than 65 devices. Last year, she helped with a search in Scott County that led to a Jordan man being charged with 12 counts of possession and distribution of child pornography. She even helped investigators with a search in Wisconsin that led to federal charges against a former Milwaukee juvenile court judge. So these items are very important in our cases. They're important pieces, and they're able to help us be able to prosecute people successfully. Senior Special Agent Rachel Pearson leads the BCA's Human Trafficking Task Force. She says not only does the evidence soda finds lead to solid cases, it also gives victims more power in court. So to prove that no matter how technology advances, nature and a good nose always win. The nice part is you can't fool a dog's nose. In St. Paul, yes, Hannah Flood, Fox 9. That's a good good work. Uh,